Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Mike, with this month's Pope Prayer Intention. The prayer intention of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for January 2021 is evangelization at the service of human fraternity. May the Lord give us the grace to live in full fellowship with our brothers and sisters of other religions, praying for one another, open to all. The beauty of this intention is it reaffirms, and I mean, I encourage you to watch you know, the, the Pope video about this where the Holy Father you know, goes to a little more detail. But the beauty of this is it reaffirms the centrality of the Christian faith. We don't have to be afraid of other religions. We ought not to be afraid of other religions. And when we only deal with other Christians, we kind of give the impression that we're afraid of other religions. But consider the tenets of the Christian faith. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus isn't a truth. He's not, you know, one version of the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. So, whenever there is anything true in another religion, incomplete as that truth may be, there is still, the church has taught with infallible confidence, you know, taught by the Second Vatican Council, that there is truth in other religions. And wherever there is truth, there is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the truth. And so, in solidarity with the Pope, let us pray. May the Lord give us the grace to live in full fellowship with our brothers and sisters of other religions, praying for one another, open to all. Now, there's a time and a place for a knockdown, drag out fight over our differences. And I'm not ever, I'm just, me, I'm not going to paper over the differences between the Christian creed and other religions. We have the fullness of the truth. They only have part of the truth. But let's deal with each other in truth, which means in charity, with love. Let's pray together as much as we can. Let's be open to all. Because when we silo ourselves off, when we say, we're going to be just over here doing our little Christian thing and we don't want to deal with anybody else, is that what Jesus did? Did he just get his disciples together and then never interact with people of different belief? No. He spent so much of his time reaching out to everyone of all different faith communities, even though he was sent, as he himself said, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He still ended up mm, healing you know, a lot of Syrophoenician women, Samaritan women, and then his church went out and converted a whole lot of Romans and God-fearers. So let our evangelization be at the service of human fraternity. Because all people are created in the image and likeness of God. Even those who understand him differently or incompletely than we do. Di Popa is the visible sign of Christian unity, the vicar of Christ here on earth. So let us all pray in solidarity with the Pope. Because, as has been said many times in many ways, Hello, kid. Where the Pope is, there Peter is. And Peter is the rock upon which Christ built the church. So, here in the brand new year of 2021... Let us all pray in solidarity with the Pope. Give this episode a like, subscribe to our channel, ring the church bell to be notified when the next brilliant plot is uploaded, and until that next time, comment below with your prayer intentions, or if you are someone of a different faith, if you are not in full communion with the Catholic Church, let us know. Not in a way that we'll, we'll fight about it, although 
you know, it, there's a lot of fun fighting in the uh, comments of our Jehovah's Witness video, but just so that we can all make our evangelization at the service of human fraternity. And until that next time, remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love.